30p Lee went into quite a rant on GB News about Nigel Farage and the Reform Party. Just have a listen. Reform um, are a threat. They are a threat, a bigger threat to the country at the moment, I think, than the Labour Party, because if reform do pick off a lot of us Conservative MPs at the next election, then what's going to happen is we're going to end up with a, with a Labour government, and a Labour government is the last thing I want. I want. 30p Lee doesn't seem to realise that it's not about what he wants, it's actually about what the electorate want. My country, I love my country to bits. I don't want to see a Labour government. And I'm sure Nigel, um, in his heart of hearts, loves this country. In fact, I know he does. But he runs the risk of, of uh, you know, losing a lot of Tory seats, seats like mine, uh, to put uh, some Labour Remainers, Remoners back in power. You know what that means, Martin. That means that's a backdoor entrance back into the, into the, uh, into the European Union. But I will say this. It's... Given... All of the damage of Brexit and the fact that all polling shows that most people now are awake to the fact that Brexit has been bad for Britain. This is just extraordinary that he thinks that people are going to be motivated to protect Brexit. Um, I'm not saying they're a one-man party, but he is, he is the figurehead. He's Nigel. He just understand why some of our voters are a little bit frustrated and angry, especially with the, the migration, the illegal and the legal Reform migration. is not the answer. It uh, leaves the door open for Sir Keir Starmer to get in number 10 and undo every, all the hard work we've tried to do so far. Seems to me that 30p Lee is only concerned with hanging on to his job as being an MP and a presenter on GB News. I don't think he's got any concerns for democracy or the country. Anyone that's concerned with the country knows absolutely certainly that we need to get back in the European Union or as close to the European Union as possible and particularly for food. And um, let's hope that that does happen soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. And also, why not click on the link here and watch one of our earlier videos about New Zealand lamb imports.